Welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you all are having a great day and a great week. It's Wednesday, August 23rd. Today, what I have for you are some items from Paint Some Way. They were kind enough to send me these items for review, so thank you to Paint Some Way. If you've never been there, to their website, I will have a link down below to their website and to the items I show you today. One of them is a bit different. I'm kind of torn on it. I'd like your opinion on if you've tried any of uh, you've tried this kind of kit before. Um, but before we start, I would just like to say hello and thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos. And if you like this video, hit that like button. So Paint Some Way has diamond painting and cross stitch and knitting and crochet and paint by number and you can get custom photos done too. Just upload your photo and you can get it made into a cross stitch kit or a diamond painting. <clears throat> Excuse me, or I think even a paint by number. It's kind of one of those one stop shop kind of stores. The first thing I want to show you is, let's see if I get this open. I don't know why I like these so much, but these are the little floss organizers. And I think I've shown you ones that only have one side with the holes. Well, this one has both sides. The holes are a little small, but when you have one of those kits that I've shown you recently that doesn't, that's a, a partial kit, that's a sampler, or um, doesn't have um, a full coverage of all your stitching, these kits are perfect because there's not a whole lot of thread, not big, huge wads of it like we get with some kits. So these holes are small, but the smaller um, thread amount of thread will fit into it. So these kits are great for that. This is a 60 count. So there's 30 holes on each side. And as you can see, they're all numbered. And if that's difficult to see, I would go over it with a Sharpie or put stickers on it. One of the two. But they're nice hard plastic. This was $2.99 for both of these. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I would like to have like, um, I'm trying to get a little collection of these going so that when I have works in progress and I have kits that are partial that don't have big huge wads of floss, then I can just stick this in the bag and, and I'll be ready to go. Because I don't really like the paper, um, paper stock that they use on some of these floss organizers. So yeah, this is really cute. Let me give you a measurement on these really quickly. They are about six and three quarter inches long and an inch and a half wide. So they're not really big. Easy for travel, easy to stick in your in your in your kit, and they're not gonna be super bulky like some of them are. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, the next thing I have for you is this cross stitch kit. Sorry about that glare. Let's get this out of the bag. And this kit I am so torn about. I think I only have one other kit like it, like it. And the reason I'm torn about it is because it's a nine count kit. So the squares are even bigger than an 11 count. Let's get the picture for you. I just picked out simple, sim something simple, these really pretty pink roses. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see it. Now this paper pattern is huge. It's big. I mean, that's my thumb and there's room to spare. Let's look at that really quickly. So this is a 40 by 60. It says up here that it's a nine count. There's your product number. It's printed so easy to read. If all of them came with a paper pattern printed this big, it would just be wonderful. So this is a huge pattern. It's not blurry like we've seen some of them. It is 120 stitches across by 191 stitches up and down. <coughs> Excuse me. 39 colors, which is a good amount of colors. Look how big this pattern is. I'm wondering if it's as big as the actual picture. I love the fact that it's just so easy to read. And for those of us 
that don't see as good as we used to, this is awesome. This is great. And that's one thing I was curious about looking at a nine count for. Because, you know, as we as time goes on, or even as, as you're not getting old, some people just don't have the greatest eyesight. They want to be able to do cross-stitch. So having something that's a bigger count is a huge help. We've got the standard toolkit that comes with this manufacturer with the threader, the adjustable thimble, and then we've got five needles in the little poofy ball and a nice little resealable bag. We've got our instructions here on how to start, how to find your colors. You will only use full, full stitch here, but this is great resource to have to show you how to do the other stitches and how to rinse this out afterwards to get all the dye out of it. But let's take a look at this fabric and the size of it. My goodness, look how big those squares are. Let's see if I have an 11 count kit here that I can compare it to. Okay. <clears throat> This is a kit I have just sitting here that's an 11 count, and we'll do a comparison on the size. So you're looking at the 9 count here, and here's the 11 count. And this is 9 squares per inch, this is 11 squares per inch. So I mean, it is quite a bit bigger when you look at it. So what will that do to the picture? Well, it makes the picture a whole lot bigger. And I want to compare the paper pattern. Let's see. I can try to bring that up just a little bit. A little crooked, sorry about that. I'm trying to do this and not mess it all up. Compare the paper pattern to the actual picture itself. So, <clears throat> this paper pattern is the same size as the actual picture. When you look at it that way, and then when you look at it this way, let's get that all in there. If this paper pattern is the exact same size as the actual picture, so I mean, that's a good thing. In my opinion, that's a good thing. Now we have, let's see, let's look at this really closely. Let's see how well it's printed. I think it's beautifully printed. And I'm really curious, a lot of people don't like these. <clears throat> but I'm really curious to see with 39 colors, that's a lot of detail. And really the only thing that nine count does is it just makes the picture bigger. So we have our areas in here and here, anywhere you see this 08 or this blue that's black. I think with this many colors, I, can, I hate to keep repeating myself, but I think we've got some good detail going on here. And this would just be easier to do for somebody. Let's get a measurement in inches. The thing though is, you're gonna end up with some really big pictures when you do something like a nine count. So it's about Oh, not quite 13 and a half inches across by a little over 21 inches vertically. So if you don't mind a big picture, you still want a cross stitch. I think this gives people an, a great opportunity who might say, oh, it's too small. I can't see it. They're doing some really pretty pictures. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, my allergies must be acting up today. In, in nine count, and you know, I, I, I say why not? If it helps other people make it easier to see, 
and to be able to do a craft or a hobby that they enjoy, then I'm all for it. Let's look at the floss. Okay, so we have our hanks of 310 black here. There's 40 strands in each. With a nine count, you'll use four strands. That's why they give you so much floss. <coughs> and I did verify that with the company. How many strands do you use with a nine, nine count? They say four strands because you want with these, with these squares being so big, you want as much coverage as possible. Now we've got some really pretty colors here. We've got a lot of browns and pinks and reds. Let's take a look at it. So really, really pretty colors, burgundies, tans, pinks, reds. Let's see, what's this? That is like a brown. That's a really pretty pink. And then a light peach. And then over here, look at all these different colors. So pretty. There's even a blue in there, yellow, red. That's 150, no, that's not 154. What is this? Not 891, that's such a pretty red. And over on this side, there's another blue. The grays, not so much green. Different shades of gray, a lot of pinky and corals whole lot of pinky and corals which I'm really surprised about for a picture that is supposed to be pink roses hmm that'll be interesting I just am really impressed like I don't know if impressed is the right word but I just am very much liking how easy this is to see And really, those are big, big squares. Will it turn out? I don't know. We'll have to try it. Now, this picture was eleven ninety nine, so it's a little bit more than some of the other cross stitch kits. I think it's because with these bigger squares, they give you so much more floss. I don't know. That's just my opinion on that. Now, paint some way has a. 30, buy $30, get one free. So they, if you have $30 in your cart, <clears throat> then the lowest price item you have, you'll get for free. 70% free, uh, 70, 70 off shipping. And then they have percentages off according to how much you buy. When you go to their website, a box will pop up and it'll explain all the percentages, like 8% when you buy one, 15% if you buy five. So... I like Paint Some Way a lot. They have a lot of selection. They have a lot of variety. I think their prices are good. They're basically all the same kits we see everywhere else. What makes all these stores different is their customer service and their pricing. So for these little things, $2.99, I think for two of them was fine. And considering the amount of floss in this kit, I think $11.99 might be on the high end a little bit <clears throat> but I still think it's a fair price for this kit it'll be absolutely beautiful so if you like this video I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button I hope you have a wonderful day take care God bless and I'll talk to you soon bye